Welcome back, it's your boy, Blue Mage 492 playing another edition of that good old Pokemon X version, about a week from when Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire comes out. Of course, I've already got my version Pokemon Omega Ruby pre-ordered at the local GameStop, and I'll be doing a video when that comes out, too. Right now, though, we're about to go in the Glittering Cave. There's a final little area, and I think there's some guy waiting for us from what I, what I saw before. And this homeboy, I think he wants to get into it. Let's see what's good. Up with his hair. What do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up, we're a fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flair! Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. Sounds like an ass. Uh, we don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? Yes. Doesn't really matter, though, even though everyone in Team Flair is going to get. Everyone not in Team Flair is going to get burned anyway. I'm going to come mess this guy up right now. I feel like a broken record. You're in the way. Don't you know not to pick fights? No, I don't know not to pick fights. Man, I'm going to knock you out, fool. Houndour. Houndour. Oh, you busted now, knucklehead. All right. So, currently my Froakie has, let's see what moves does he have. Oh, he's low on health. Have him, he's got Water Pulse, Aerial Ace, Thief, and Lick. I'm gonna use Water Pulse. Knock this knucklehead out in a minute. Oh well. <laughs> I don't want round. Forget that. Zubat. Who wants to kill a Zubat for me? I'm let Archie do it. Archie, you got this, boy. I gotta give some nicknames to these guys. I'm gonna call this guy like. What was it? What was his name? Pterosaur? in uh, Beast Wars, that'd be pretty cool. You know, because he's going to look kind of like a pterodactyl by the evolution form. Eat this, rock throw, fool. Bam, you dead. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about giving some of these guys nicknames. I might call like the Monferno or Infernape, call him like Son Goku. Um, uh, in reference to Sayuki, you know, Journey West. If any of you remember that, it's a little old school reference there. Um, goodness. Oh, no. No ancient power that's special based. Let's see. But yeah, if you have any ideas for what I should name my uh, Pokemon, send it out to me, you know. I'm always, I'm always willing to hear some suggestions and stuff. Oh, this guy's done. Bow down to the greatness. And take that fist and punch him in the face. Getting in my way like that. this joke yeah I'm pretty tough bring them I'll whoop your friends too <laughs> super punch or rather, Rock Smash. Nice! Alright, is there any... Does he have any homies? Oh, man, they all are ready to get whooped. It's a party! It's a party! Gulpin gonna get whooped, too. I'm gonna use... Lick. Okay, so this is actually not an original Froakie, it's one someone traded me, or I got it off Wonder Trade. That being said, it has Protean as its uh, personality, which is pretty useful. And this is a bad matchup. I should just give up on this. Go 
both routes. Confusion! I don't even know what I want to name my routes though. My routes, let's see, what would be a good name for routes? I'm gonna, this is the one that's gonna be the Gardevoir, and eventually a Mega Gardevoir. So, what would be a cool name for it? Hmm. I can't think of any cool anime or video game references. Rose? I can't name her Rose like she was from, uh, from Street Fighter 4. That'd be pretty cool, I guess. Let's see. And of course, I got that Monferno. He'd be Son Goku. I'd have, um, <clears throat> let's see who else. Arching could be like Pterosaur or something uh, from Beast Wars Transformers. Um, Froki. Froki. I keep thinking of Naruto, like the Sage Mode with the frogs for like the Froki and the Greninja. I might just call him Greninja. He's pretty cool. He's getting his own Super Smash Brothers roster berth, so I should I should just show respect and let him be what he is. Um, who else? Though? Who else is in my party? I've got I've got Grovile, Sceptile, Sceptile will be turned on Mega Sceptile. I should give it some like some dinosaur like name because I swear in its mega form it looked like a dinosaur. Again, if you haven't already, check out I just uploaded recently that uh, review for the uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So check it out if you haven't already. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> well, yes, I will change. Man, as love, much as I love this Gabite, I might have to remove him from my party. If I get any more overlap between any of my other Pokemon, like my Grovile and uh, what Aerodactyl will be doing, this guy won't really be necessary. So if you have any suggestions for what I should bring into my party as my sixth teammate, you know, definitely holler and put it in the comments below. Thanks for the help. One thing I'd love to see in Pokemon is a similar control style to the one they used in Bravely Default. They had this really cool style how you could do everything basically with this left button, access menus, so on and so forth. And I'd love to see how it could be incorporated in Pokemon. Pokemon isn't really complex with control, so it would be an awesome uh, enhancement. Super Punch again. Oh yeah. Looks like I'm getting Aerodactyl. Yes, I'm very ready. Oh, they in for it now? She said, someone's bouts to get slapped. All right, so you like fighting types? What did I bring in? I brought in a flying type. Excellent. All right. <laughs> I expect a one hit KO. Not even critical or anything. No, you need to use Psychic or something. Oh wait, that's dark. She can't do anything to that. Should be in some big trouble now. I'm gonna knock you out too, homeboy. You should be able to survive, but I heard this Pokemon has high defense. Oh, I guess not. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm using an Archin. This Archin might be around for a minute. It's definitely not going in the Wonder Trade. Man, everybody's leveling up right now. I think every one of my teammates or every one of my Pokemon's gonna level up after this battle. This is nuts! I think that's routes that time. Man, where's their boss? Where's the where's the real homie? Who dat? Who dat? Who dat team got whooped by me? They're basically just saying next time I'm gonna get it. Uh, these guys are posers. Super punch. Oh my goodness. This is so much different from old school Pokemon games where you could... Alright, give me just a moment. My battery's running low. Oh, 
I don't know, is this going to be like the professor from the original Pokemon? While I won't be using either Tyrant or Amara, I think I will be using that Aerodactyl to replace my, uh, my Archon. It might make a better uh, flying type, you know, plus those, those rock and flying types have great, very versatile movesets. I'm a way bigger fan of Tyrant, but I already have two, so I'm going to go for the Sail Fossil. Right now, my party consists of a Munferno, a uh, Grovile, I've got a Froakie, I've got a uh, Routes, an Archon, which probably will be replaced by Aerodactyl pretty soon, and a Gabite. If you have any suggestions for things you use through Endgame, hey, holler at me. Send me a comment below, you know, so I know what to uh, consider putting in. Uh-oh, looks like my neighbor's about to have some more subtle advice for where I'm supposed to head next. Wonder what she's got planned. And I'm going to stop it right about here for this session. Anyway, if you haven't already, feel free to like this video. It'll help the next one come out faster. And of course, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, y'all.